Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. Today's video is going to be how I find and plan my backpacking trips. This was highly requested by you guys and I'm gonna do my best to take you through how I go about finding backpacking trips and then planning them as far as my route, where to camp, etc. One of the first things that I do is narrow down the area that I want to hike in. Like most people, I generally have a list of areas that I want to explore, so it usually depends on how many days I can be gone and how far away from home I want to travel. If I'm going for a three-day weekend, I'll likely stick within a three-hour drive from home and go to the Diamond Peak or Waldo Lake area or try to get a permit for the Three Sisters or Mount Jefferson Wilderness. If I have five to seven days, I will likely head down to Southern Oregon, Northern California or Eastern Oregon. Once I've narrowed down the area I want to hike in and I don't already have an itinerary in mind that maybe I saw in a YouTube video or someone's blog post, I will build my own route. I usually opt for loops since this is the easiest in terms of parking your car and not having to rely on people for rides or having to take two cars, which can be a pain. Building the route I think is where most people get intimidated, but I hope that by me showing you how to do it, it's less intimidating. I always use Gaia on my computer for this step because sometimes I don't have the actual paper maps yet, although I always buy them so that I can have them for the trip. Plus, on Gaia, it's easier to calculate daily mileage than on the paper maps. On Gaia, you can see that many trails connect here to make loops of various different sizes. So from here, I basically create routes for a few different loops to see how long they all are and then pick the mileage that works for the number of days that I have off. People always ask me how I find places to camp, which is a great question. Gaia will sometimes show established backcountry sites, but it definitely doesn't show all of them or even most of them. That is where a paper map comes in handy because a lot of the time campsites are noted on those maps. There are spots to camp at most alpine lakes, but something to look at are the elevation lines. If the elevation lines are super close together, it means the terrain is very, very steep and there likely won't be any good spots to set up your tent. If you see a spot like this one here by the river where the elevation lines are far apart, part, you'll know that it's pretty flat terrain and you'll likely have a decent spot to set up camp. You can also always look up pictures on Google of a specific lake if you are unsure. I have also used Google Earth before to see if the terrain looks good. So after I have my route and my daily mileage and elevation gain broken down, I make sure I have purchased the paper map of that area so that I can take it on the trip with me. This is very important for safety. Things I do as it gets closer to the trip is check the weather for the area using nearby towns as well as mountain forecast. I also make sure I have the appropriate parking pass that I need for the trailhead. Then I pack my backpacking food and my backpacking items. I really hope this helped guys. Please let me know if you have any questions about any of this. I am more than happy to help. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you on the next adventure.